Hi, you probably learned a bit about flowers if you did the activity associated with the last lesson. Now we're going to actually build a classifier, lesson 1.4, building a classifier. We're going to use a system called J48, I'll tell you why it's called J48 uh, in a minute, to analyze the glass data set that uh, we looked at in the last lesson. So I've got the glass data set open here, and I'm going to go to the classify panel. And I choose a classifier here. By, I'm going to just close this. There's different kinds of classifiers. Weka has Bayes classifiers, function classifiers, lazy classifiers, meta classifiers, and so on. We're going to use a tree classifier. J48 is a tree classifier. So I'm going to open trees and click J48. Here it is, the J48 classifier. Well, let's run it. If we just press start, we've got the data set, we've got the classifier, and lo and behold, it's done it. It's a bit of an anticlimax, really. Weka makes things very easy for you to do. The problem is understanding what it is that you've done. So let's take a look. Uh, here there's uh, some information about the data sets, so the glass data set, the number of instances and attributes. Uh, and then it's printed out. This is actually a representation of a tree here. Uh, we'll look at these trees later on, but just note that this tree has got uh, 30 leaves and 59 nodes altogether. And the overall accuracy is 66.8%. So it's done pretty well, I guess. Down at the bottom here, we've got a confusion matrix. Remember there were about seven different kinds of glass? So this is building windows made of float glass. And uh, you can see that 50 of these have been classified as A, which is correctly classified. 15 of them have been classified as B, which is building windows non-float glass. So those are errors. And three have been classified as C, and so on. So this is a confusion matrix. The, most of the weight is down the main diagonal, which we like to see because that indicates correct classifications. Everything off the main diagonal indicates a misclassification. Okay, so that's the uh, confusion matrix. Now let's go on and investigate this a bit further. We're going to open a configuration panel for J48. Remember I chose it by clicking the Choose button. Now if I click it here, I get a configuration panel. So um, I clicked J48 in this menu and I get a configuration panel which gives a bunch of parameters. Uh, I'm not going to really uh, talk about these parameters. Let's just look at one of them, the unpruned parameter, which by default is false. So what we've just done is to build a pruned tree because unpruned is false. So we can change this to build, make it true, and build an unpruned tree. We've changed the configuration. We can run it again. And it just ran again, and now we have a different result, or a potentially different result. So let's just have a look. We've got 67% uh, correct classification. What do we have before? These are the runs. This is the previous run, and there we had 68%. Now, in this run that we've just done with the unpruned tree, we've got 67% uh, accuracy. And the, the tree is the same size. So uh, that's one option. I'm just going to look at another option, and then we'll look at some trees. So I'm going to click the configuration panel again, and I'm going to look at uh, the. I'm going to change the. Where is it now? The min num obj parameter. What is that? That is the minimum number of instances per leaf. I'm going to change that from 2 up to 15 to have larger leaves. These are the leaves of the tree here. And these numbers in brackets are the number of instances that get to that leaf. When there's two numbers, this means that one incorrectly classified instance got to this leaf and five correctly classified instances got there. So you can see that all of these leaves are pretty small, which is sometimes two or three, or oh, here's one with 31. Uh, instances. So we've constrained now this number. The tree is going to be generated, and this number is always going to be 15 or more. So let's run it again. 
Now we've got a worse result, 61% correct classification, but a much smaller tree with uh, only uh, six leaves. Is that a six? No, eight leaves, I'm sorry. So now we can visualize this tree. If I right click on the line, these are the lines that describe each of the runs that we've done. This is the third run. If I right click on that, I get a little menu and I can visualize the tree. So uh, there it is. If I uh, right click on empty space, I can fit this to the screen. So this is the decision tree. This says, first of all, look at the barium content. Uh, if it's large, then it must be headlamps. If it's small, then magnesium. If that's small, then let's look at uh, potassium. And if that's small, then we've got tableware. That sounds like a pretty good thing to me. I don't want too much potassium in my tableware. So this is a visualization of the tree, and it's the same tree that you can see by looking here. This is just the same kind of, a different representation of the tr same tree. Just show you one more thing about this configuration panel, which is the more button. This gives you more information about the classifier, about uh, J48. And uh, it's always useful to look at that to see where these classifiers have come from. In this case, let me explain why it's called J48. It's based on uh, a famous system called C4.5, which was described in a book. The book is referenced here. In fact, I think I've got it on my shelf. This book here, C4.5, Programs for Machine Learning, by an Australian computer scientist called uh, Ross Quinlan. Uh, he started out with a system called ID3. I think that might have been in his PhD thesis. And then C4.5 became quite famous. This kind of morphed into through various versions into C4.5. It became famous, the book came out, and so on. He continued to work on this system, went up to C4.8, uh, and then it went commercial. Up until then, these were all open source systems. So when we built Weka, we took uh, the latest version of uh, C4.5, uh, C which was C4.8, and we rewrote it. Weka is written in Java, so we called it J48. Maybe it's not a very good name, but that's the name that's stuck. So there's a little bit of history for you. So we've talked about classifiers in Weka. I've showed you where you find the classifiers. We classified the glass data set. We looked at how to interpret the output from J48, in particular the confusion matrix. We looked at the configuration panel for J48. We looked at a couple of options, pruned versus unpruned trees, and the option to avoid small leaves. And I told you how J48 really corresponds to the machine learning system that most people know as C4.5. C4.5 and C4.8 were really pretty similar. So we just talk about uh, J48 as though it's synonymous with C4.5. You can uh, read about this in the book, section 11.1, about building a decision tree and examining the output. And uh, now, off you go and do your activity associated with this, with this lesson. See you again soon.